Okay, Welcome back to turn 19 now of uh, Heavy Hitters. This is the defense again. It's obvious from all the blue stuff. Uh, what are we looking for? Well, over on this flank, uh, the Hellcats finally into position, and the Shermans with the mortar teams should be popping up into hold down positions in this field ish here, or actually, I think it's over here, isn't it? Uh, where they're going to be shielded from the Panthers, but they're uh, or going to be in defilade from the Panthers and they can fire out at uh, Tyne's infantry in this kind of area. Uh, that's where they're moving up. In the meantime, it's more machine gun fire and more mortars on all these uh, pixel trip in here. We'll see if he gets he got some troops up to the edge of the sunken lane here. We'll see if he can get them uh, down inside. Uh, and if they do, hopefully we'll be able to machine gun them all. Uh, the Greyhound's moving up there, so hopefully we'll get some canister action as well. Uh, we're also, uh, he's got about a platoon-ish moving this way, and uh, we're looking to uh, bomb the snot out of it. Uh, we've got the mortars up, and the HQ Greyhound is shooting up that area. The uh, Jackson is also going to be putting some shots in on that last bunch. Uh, and then we'll see what happens with Titan's tanks up here, because I feel like he's going to want to move them forward. Uh, to try and deal with whatever I have over here. That's about it. Uh, so, just get the camera into some semi-reasonable position and press go. It's also pushing up a scout team there. There's the Panzer IV again. And we saw this little um, scout, te scout team, scout um, vehicle, little eight uh, four-wheeler pop up last turn. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what he does with that, whether it's going to be some kind of, uh, uh, you know, he's going to punch it up and wreck you with it, or he's just going to use it as a mobile machine gun to, oh, there's a hit, hit there, that's nice. Uh, here comes the Hummel, pushing up that way. This is like being a sports commentator for like a really slow sport where you can't actually see any detail yet. But lots of hits coming in up there, that's good. Uh, this Greyhound here, this one's reorientating a little bit, so it's in defilade from the tanks. But at the same time, uh, it can get eyes on here. See, half of this is me just trying to remember what the hell I was doing in the last turn. It's been about uh, 36 hours since I did it. I'm like, yeah, you know, that's quite a long time for something with a lot of detail. But we didn't get any flashing icons on that turn. Let's find out if uh, Titan did. So let's have a look up here. Uh, all this lovely little bunched up target. The Jackson firing uh, 90 millimeter HE shells at it, or past it, in that case. Let's leave. Let's reload, kids. Come on. Nope. Got three shots off, and uh, it's managing to miss the ground with all of them. Though, to be fair, it is kind of uh, grazing fire, isn't it? So, if you look at the angle, it's actually quite a difficult one. So, might have got some casualties there, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, hopefully we're doing a bit of damage over here. Uh, we can't really see very much. Uh, but there's definitely you know, shots landing nearby and cowering little pixel tripping. And, uh, I think, yeah, these guys are starting to get... These guys have almost certainly been spotted. They're getting shot up. Or was that a cook-off, actually? Yeah, that was just the cook-off from the, uh, from the Greyhound. Is that what's pinned them? Yes, it is. Yeah, that's cool. I can live with that. We've got the King Tiger is also shuffling up a little bit. Slightly different angle. Still out of sight of the, uh... King Tiger, which is good. 
Uh, did look actually like that King Tiger moved forward fairly snappily, didn't it? Say it's probably on a hunt command or something. Yeah, maybe it's not as damaged as you might like to think. Hmm. Bit disappointing, but that's okay. There's that mortar still popping up. What's that actually trying to mortar? Just stuff out here. That's fine. These guys are finally getting their eye in. Unfortunately, all the ammo is in the jeep, isn't it? So. Uh, yeah, we gave that orders to shoot, but it's not doing anything. That's really handy. How many rounds have we fired off from there? It's 28. 34 seats so actually, yeah, we're actually putting quite a lot of ammo in. It should, in theory at least, be getting moderately accurate. Yeah, definitely getting in there. You might find that difficult to... You might actually find it difficult to tell, Mike Titan, whether that's mortar fire or uh, greyhound fire. I hope 90 mil is quite a big shell, in theory. Uh, hopefully that nobbled some people. Definitely uh, putting the Frighteners on, I think. Right, let's see how, or uh, see what happened over here. When not seeing an awful lot of um, casualties, which bothers me. There might be, you know, there might be plenty of dead pixel trumpet out there, but that sounded like a dead pixel trumpet. Oh, yes. Hello. You guys were alive, and now you're not. Uh, one of those mortars, isn't it? I don't know. Sucks to be those guys, I think. That's quite a lot of dead uh, Germans there. That'll do. And then, oh yeah, we got some more there. What was that? Machine gun fire? That guy with his uh, shy specker. That's, that's the machine gun fire there. Oh yeah. Oh, is that... Uh, is that our uh, AT gunner? I think it is. Oh, maybe not. You got those guys? Is that the Hell Hat? The Hell Hat. Yes, I think that is. That's the Hell Cat. Aha, a bit of 50 fire. Yes, please. Yeah, that's uh, made them change their mind about that. And then, oh, a mortar round as well. Yeah. They're having a bad day there. Not sure what he's doing with that half track. Yeah, let's see what the. Uh, while we're thinking about it, what's the Hummel aiming at? I think it's going to see anything down there. In theory, the jeep's there, but yeah, I'm not convinced. Cool. We'll just do a, a quick, uh, another quick trends here, just to see. If... Uh, these guys. What do these guys do? And who can see them? These guys ran up here. 
and then at some point they run back. Yeah, there we are. And boom, yes, now they're running back again. Maybe they're broken or something? I mean, they've been putting uh, Titan, some of Titan's troops here under a lot of stress, so, you know, maybe. Just seems strange. Uh, Hummel's definitely moving up, though. I am sort of wondering, where's my MG? Hmm. I'm not sure the Hummel has a shot on the MG, but something to consider there, I think. But, okay, so that mortar is empty. That one has 20 rounds left, but it's got its eye in. We are totally going to continue bombing that area. Hopefully, by the time that that's run out of ammo, uh, those mortars up there, uh, the Shermans will be in position. And if we're going to be really cheeky... Oh, the Shermans are shuffling up there, aren't they? Uh, if we want to be really cheeky, there's also the potential uh, that we're going to run out of ammo and then wait a few turns. Um, just to give Titan a bit of a, oh, he's, you know, it's slack, black, it's slackening off. We can push on and then smack him up with all that extra firepower. Something to think about, I think. Oh, that Jackson can actually... S it can't see it, but... Yeah, okay. Right. It might, might be worth giving it a target armor arc. Though, it might also be a good idea to kill those guys there. Got his little scout team sat on the edge of the woods there, which we are just kind of staring at right now. These guys have got five rounds left. Do you think we can smack them on top of them? Yeah. Uh, what I'm worried about here is that HQ team uh, seeing where the Jackson is. Uh, so Titan knows. Um, you know, whether he can push or not with his tanks. Let's have a think. Uh, yeah, we don't need to see anything else here, uh, do we? That was actually a really good turn, because we didn't lose anybody, and uh, Titan definitely took some casualties. Um, if this... Jackson gets shot at, where can it go to escape? Well, if it reverses, it can get behind these trees, which, yeah, that is probably about as good as we're going to get. Now, let's have a look at... It might be just... Yeah, just on the edge of sight range. Hmm. I'm not usually a fan of target armor arcs or target arcs in general because, you know, say I've completely missed something and, you know, like a Panzer IV or something pops up like here and starts shooting at the, uh, the, the Jackson. The Jackson won't react because it doesn't have, you know, it's outside the engagement area, but I think we should be fairly safe to do that there. That one's moving up. That mortar team there. Let's get some rounds on that clump of bushes. I'm not going to pop this. Um... Oh, those guys are all out of ammo. Leg it back to the to the jeep. 
Um, I'll leave that one there because it's seeing everything. It's also the HQ one, so it's passing information back. Uh, that Jeep can't see a thing. If we put it anywhere where it can see over that way, it will get shot. So let's not do that. Um, best keeping it. Yeah, I think they're just best keeping it there. Right, let's uh, dismount you guys and I'll whack you into that house for a bit more observation. They're within shouting range of the Hellcat, which is what we want. The Hellcat has no. I don't think it does, but I'm just checking to see whether it has eyes on something like the Hummel. Oh yeah, definitely not. Even with the trees off, that's like a pretty tough shot. But no, it can't see a thing, which is actually kind of good. That's going to work both ways. Not, I should hasten to add, that I'm particularly bothered about the, uh... uh you guys don't have any ammo left, so you should probably ditch that. Uh, not that I'm, you know, tremendously bothered about, um... God, what was I just talking about? Oh, whatever. I can't remember. These guys out of ammo. Yes, they are. Let's get back to that jeep and pick up some more. Those guys have plenty for the time being, so they can continue bombing there. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, I think, we're not doing too bad at chewing him up here. Oh no, he's got two teams in here, so that's now... Yeah, I still don't know what he's doing with that, but whatever. And yeah, those guys are... You can see all the way over there, that's good. Yeah. Let's go see what's happening uh, on the offensive. Okay, welcome back to turn 19 of the attack for heavy hitters. Uh, actually had some people shooting back in the last turn. Uh, there were a f there's the HMG team here has opened up here and killed the, uh, the gunner in this half track. Uh, and it also took some sniper fire from around here. It was one of these buildings, I can't remember. Hey look! More foxholes! Yeah. Remember what I was saying about foxholes giving you positions where I didn't, don't think I spotted that in the last turn. But yeah, foxholes. Not always an amazing idea. Um, we've definitely taken out the bazooka team in the bottom of the church. Um, we're going to shoot up the church. That's next on the menu, like I've been saying. Once we take that, uh, we're into the village. I've also spotted a 60mm uh, mortar team pushing up this way. Uh, so, it, potentially... And, we, and we've seen these guys over here pushing in. But potentially, Titan is collapsing, is defensing a bit. Um, which is good. Because the more, um, you know, all these guys are going from prepared positions. Uh, let, let's say that this mortar team here was set up, um, say here on this ridge line, in foxholes to cover this flank here, which is where Titan's pushing in his game, so I can expect him to expect me to push that way too. I'm not. Let's say they're over here. First of all, they've left the foxholes, so those points are completely wasted. 
Second of all, they're now running across open ground to take up another position. Say we're going to put them in here in the uh, in the sunken road. First of all, they're going to be completely knackered. Second of all, they're exposed to enemy fire as they're moving into position. Third, you can't fine tune your positions, uh, your secondary positions, like you can your primary ones. Uh, by which I mean, Titan could have spent, you know, five, ten minutes perfecting uh, the location of that mortar team. Uh, you know, messing around with the facing command to make sure that everybody's in the right bit of the foxhole and that the guy with the mortar is the one in the right position to see the most and everybody else is in shelter or whatever. And now he's, to move them up here, he's, he's lost all of that because you just give the AI a command and it does whatever it thinks is best, which is not always best. Um, plus... It also increases the chance that he's going to make a mistake. Which is excellent. Uh, for example, my um, kind of uh, assault force here is in defilade from this position in the sunken road. Which is such a, an important factor of the other battle. But it's not here because I'm, I'm bypassing it. I'm not really interested. Uh, what can you do from here? Well, due to the kind of targeting, uh, the way targeting works in combat mission, I don't think he can bomb the tree line, the, this little copse of trees here, uh, which is where some of my fire support is, because he can't see the ground. And I'm not even sure he can bomb that house, though he might be able to target the upper story and get some shells... Uh, or some bombs rather because it's mortars in the general area but it's not going to be very effective fire plus it's exposed to the fire support up on the ridge line so I could be shooting up that position with stugs so you can kind of see how you know and over here of course it's like well I was pushing up here with or my intent at least was to push up here with vehicles I had a Hellcat two Shermans mortars uh, a very mobile force. Titan's running up here. Um, to be fair, uh, this is outside of the deployment zone, so he must have had a force around here uh, that he's moved round, which A means they're knackered. And... It's interesting to consider what they might do from here. Say he puts a firing line up on this... Um, Uh, this hedge line here, this field boundary. If it's just infantry, then what's it going to do? You know, it's exposed to all this fire support that I can bring to bear. It doesn't have the anti-tank teeth to deal with any of the AT weapons. Sure, it might be able to put some fire down on my guys as they're attacking up that way, but I should be able to shut it down pretty quick, and they're out of support. So be interesting to see what he does with it. If it's recce for something else, like a platoon of Shermans, that's a different thing. And I'm going to have to rejig my tanks if that's the case, but I don't think that's very likely. Uh, so anyway, we are it's just consolidating our hold up here, uh, getting these guys out of the way, and then we're going to start uh, pushing the church, like I keep saying. Let's just press go. We might get some casualties here because those guys were under fire. And, oh, yeah, we've spotted whatever it is over there. That's uh, another mortar round coming in there. It sounded transformery. That might skew the balance a little bit, having some kind of gigantic robot. We've still got spots on that stuff. It's going to be interesting to see if that's one, that one water team moving up all those spots or whether we've got a mixture of stuff. And we've got some water landing out in the open there. That's actually interesting, yeah. 
This is why the, the actual pointy end of the spear here. Okay, no more casualties that turn. The actual pointy end of the spear is so small, it's two squads. You know. Um, yeah. <laughs> and we've actually got. I always say, because it's moving, it's crossing open ground, it's been engaged. Uh, there's a whole squad on the top floor of that building, and they are shooting the snot out of it. Excellent. So let, let's let's do these guys first and see if uh, these are the guys who are generating all those spotting contacts. So it is that mortar team. And we have that guy there with a Thompson. A Thompson in a mortar team. I don't think any of my mortar teams have Thompsons. I'll have to check that. Yeah, you because know, this could be uh, you know spotting contacts from different. Yeah, that's the same team, isn't it? Yep, same guy. White helmet. White helmet with net. Thompson, great coat. I don't think any of my guys are wearing pajamas. Yeah, same team. Who's the? What's this guy got? He's carrying the mortar because he's not drawn in. That guy's got a carbine. The question here is, which one do we shoot? Because. Uh, Getting the guy who's actually carrying the mortar is usually entertaining. That's like best case scenario there. That's all three of them. There's usually two guys in the team. I think we get the last guy. Oh no, more than three guys. I take it back. Ooh. You didn't look like you were carrying anything. That's just the end of the animation for him hopping over the fence, but that guy looks hilarious. There's just something about him. Limp-wristed there. Mm. So, yeah, those guys run in, and one of them gets nailed. That's that's cool. That's what we want. Uh, let's check these guys out on the flank. I think we put some fire on them. This is just a, a rifleman. And his dressing gown. Yeah, that's the same guy, isn't it? Yeah, white helmet, Garen, dressing gown. Did I have someone actually aiming at him? Yeah. Yeah, see, these guys were on target light for him, but it's 600 meters out, so they're choosing not to really engage. I mean, the MG gunner is aiming, 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 waiting, but they've lost sight. Aiming, waiting. It's quite a long way, like beyond effective range, so the pixel tripping are choosing not to engage. It would also help if the MG team was facing in the right direction. Oh no, that's the start of the turn. Fair enough. Might help if he was prone though. Cool. Let's see what uh, what we got in the middle. Of the Boom. That's... Is that the HMG team? Oh no, that's a mortar team. We are going to bomb that little bit of hedge. Who can who spotted them actually? The driver of the half track, okay. Random spotting. Put some shots into that building there. Yeah, looks like that mortar team there is the one which was dropping mortars on the guys up here. I 
that simultaneous firing from the Panthers there. Awesome. Now this, those guys got out of it okay, that's, that's good. That was an 81 mil mortar. How big was this one? Eighty-one. Yeah, that's the guy shooting at us then. Right, it's taking a while to get his eye in. In fact, if we think about it being uh, that hedge line there, there was a shell landed out here somewhere, wasn't there? Quite a way away. Ah, whatever. Not a big deal. So we like successfully uh, got out of trouble with these guys. Uh, these guys have run all the way around the building. And taken up a position at this wall where if Titan has anybody in that church, they will be able to see and engage them. And they're not. A little bit of roller skating there. Yeah, you'll notice that my guys aren't wearing their dressing gowns. So we'll leave those guys there for a turn and move their uh, the other half of their squad up. Uh, might as well go through the building for that. And uh, we'll see if they get shot at. Apart from that, not a lot going on. Which, like we say, is uh, pretty good news. Cool, that will do. Uh, oh, we don't actually, we don't quite have line of sight for the mortar because it's, you know, it's a long way. And that one can't see anything there because it's partial hull down. What about you? Also partial hull down. That's a bit disappointing. Might have to just live with some mortar fire there. What could be interesting here is if we just like drive these half tracks up to the church. So uh, no, no hapless, no bad hapless. You know what happens when the, when we do stuff like that? Everybody dies. Target briefly there just to make sure uh, that they're definitely facing in the right direction. Oh, still go, that's going to be. Yeah, that's just too far. And actually on the other side of the hedge. Oh. Tiny little bit of slope. That's like a not a bad little position to be honest. Though it might be worth if we spray the area in front of it with MG fire, if we can, we might be able to get some overshoots with some of the bursts. Uh, 
but she's going to suppress them at least. Might convince Titan to move the guys out, uh, move the guys away. Or we could shoot them up with that half drag. That'll do. You, those guys have a radio, right? Let's get you in there. Uh, I do have a spare half track around here somewhere, so let's poke you around that corner. Put some more fire on there, that's going to spread things out a bit as well. guys are set up, let's start putting some MG fire in that general direction. You guys are medicking. Those guys are dead, so we don't need to worry about them, but some actual casualties here. Yeah. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's put some more machine gun fire in that way as well. Is it going to be safe enough to bring one of these bad boys up and start doing nasty things yet? Hmm. Not sure. We'll bring those out for phase two when we start moving into the village. Uh, if we move them up... Uh, this kind of area where this panther is, we should be able to start doing nasty things to these buildings on this side. Let's uh, take all the orders away from that panther. And the tiger. Slowly, slowly catch the monkey. 